What's up, you guys? I got a weird story for you guys. It is November 27th, 2018, and it has to do with a, a division rival, not the Philadelphia Eagles, because I know y'all love my Philadelphia Eagle videos, but uh, this one is about the Redskins, and this just came out. The Washington Redskins claim Reuben Foster off of, off of waivers post domestic violence arrest. Are you fucking kidding me? You guys, I, this is, this is, uh, the Washington Redskins, I know they're desperate, but <sighs> delete the entire franchise. God damn, just delete that shit. The Washington Redskins are fucking fools. Listen, I'm not, you know, you guys, I, I know domestic violence is a, is a huge issue, but I also know that, um, that the Me Too movement is a huge issue as well. And you know how, and, and the thing is like, I'm going to say this regarding to, to the Me Too movement, you know, you got a lot of females who are emboldened out here, just throwing around false claims just to ruin a man's life. I've, I've seen it. I know what happens. It's very, very prevalent. So don't get it twisted. I'm not just like going to simp out for some female, you know, because she claimed that, you know, domestic violence or whatever. I don't do that simp shit. You know, I know a lot of times they be fucking lying because the way this society like emboldens the woman, you know, you know, enables the feminine principle and all that shit. The woman always is, is, is believed over the man. I get that. But. Reuben Foster, he's a lost cause, man, because you keep getting all these claims, all these claims of domestic violence. Once you start getting all these claims, man, that shit is on you. You are fucking up. Okay, if it's one time, like Ezekiel Elliott, like where the bitch is lying, or, you know, okay, you get a pass on that. But, like, when this shit is reoccurring, that shows that it's something wrong with you mentally and psychologically. It's something wrong with you. To always get getting caught up in these this despicable, like, events, like domestic violence, it's something up with Reuben Foster. He should be pushed out of the league. And even if he didn't commit domestic violence, just him being caught up in those situations all the time, that's enough for me to push him out of the league. That should be enough for anyone to push him out of the league because that shows a, a clear lack of judgment to always find yourself in these situations. Like, come on. And San Francisco, they put up with a lot of shit. Look at Colin Kaepernick. They put up with a lot of shit and they released him. God damn, son. So the Washington Redskins, I don't know what is going on with that front office, but they make questionable decisions all the time. It's the Washington Redskins, you know, like, come on. But you guys, what do you guys think? I think this is a stupid move. I think this is just pure mismanagement from the front office, like claiming this guy off of waivers. This guy needs to be pushed out of the NFL. You know, Colin Kaepernick is many things, you know, and I don't really like him, but he ain't out here getting, you know, whooping folks, beating ass and shit, getting accused for domestic violence over and over and over again. Like, God damn. Shit, even Greg Hardy, he was whooping ass and he only got caught up once. And he's still, he's still not in the league anymore. You know, like shit. You know, and but I don't... I don't get it, man. This is, you guys, Reuben Foster going to be playing for the Washington Redskins. Wow. whoopity do. I can't believe this shit. But, you know, what do you expect? All right, you guys, peace.